Lonely from the world's capital markets. Here are the financial headlines brought to you by Arise Academy. Good morning and welcome to our daily financial outlook. Join us today as we survey the business world for the latest events and updates in the markets. Michael is helping today from our trading room. Japan is leaving China behind as Asia's two largest stock markets compete for investor capital. With the latter's prospects, with the latter's prospects, concerns about economic growth and geopolitical tensions with the West, J.P. Morgan's chief economist said the bank is no longer forecasting a U.S. recession this year, and has raised its economic growth estimate as the economy expands at a healthy pace. The firm increased its current quarter real annualized GDP growth estimate to 2.5 percent from 0.5 percent. It's a big week ahead on the economic calendar. While the Fed will not deliver another interest rate decision until September, the U.S. economic calendar will influence bets on a September Fed rate hike. The U.S. CPI report and producer price index numbers are in focus. The oil dollar pair gained 1% in the last session, after rising as much as 1.7% during the session. According to the CCI, we are in an overbought market. The gold dollar pair rose 0.4% in the last session. The CCI indicates an oversold market. The euro dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. The MACD is giving a negative signal, going against our overall technical analysis. The dollar yen price remained largely unchanged in the last session. The MACD is giving a positive signal. The US three month bill auction will be released at 1530 GMT. The US six month bill auction at 1530 GMT. Germany's industrial production at 0600 hours GMT. Japan's labor cash earnings will be released at 2330 GMT. Japan's current account at 2330 GMT. The UK's BRC like for like retail sales at 2300 hours and one minute GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join our next review for the latest news and events from the financial markets.